Hi everyone, welcome to Kairos House. Today we're going to be looking at the parts we took off the R6 and we're going to be looking at some new parts that are going on the R9. Okay, so first up we've got the electrical parts. Uh, we have the inline EW W111 uh, controller, Bluetooth, I believe. Then we have the Shimano EWRS910 junction box. That is going in the frame. Um, it was in the end of my handlebars, but it's now going in the frame of the R9. Uh, we have junction box A. Oh, it is the SMJC41. And we've got electric cables coming off it. So what cables do we have? We have a 350 mil. Um, that one, I don't know because the labels come off of it. Another one with no label on it. That looks to be about 750, something like that. We've got a 650. We've got a 700. We've got a tiny short one or 200. And that's probably four or 500. So we've got quite a lot of cables. Seven electronic cables. Okay, next is the, um, I think this is the Dura Ace 9000 series. Um, I'll actually be selling this, so we're not going to have a look at it. It come up nice and clean. It still works. Um, I'll be selling that. Next up, we have the Dura Ace 9000. It's the RD9070, actually. Um, rear derailleur. I'll be selling this one as well. Um, I cleaned this up. This came up really nicely. It has been crashed, as you can see, once. Uh, came off on a zebra crossing around a corner. Still works perfectly, but I have bought um, an Ultegra one for the R9. Okay, we've got my S-Works Venge stem and uh, computer mount from AliExpress. I may, I'm tempted to try and put this on the R9. The, uh, the stem clamp is really close to the edge there where the cables come down. So the cables will come in from my handlebars through this hole along the underneath of the stem and down inside. I've got to try it out. I may use this um, instead of the Yolio bars, depending on uh, how easy or not to thread they are because I had to unjam a load of stuff from the handlebars. Okay, we've got my uh, Dura Ace chain, which has been soaked in molten speed wax. Uh, it looks so dirty because I actually left it in there when the wax hardened. Yeah. Usually I wouldn't do that. I'd dip it in for like five minutes or something and take it out. But I actually left it in there and that's why it looks so mingy. But uh, that's the chain we'll be using for the new bike. Okay, we've got the uh, Absolute Black Oval Chain Rings. Uh, red, this is a 50. And we have a the black inner one, which is a 34. And they came up nice and clean. Uh, yep, so we'll be reusing them on the R9. Okay, we've got the Ultegra. Um, it is the R8000 series crank arm in 175 with a Stages G3 power meter and an Ultegra uh, pedal. Uh, it is actually the R8000 series, so we'll be reusing this. Uh, we have the Dura Ace 9, uh, 9000 series, I believe. It is the FC9000. It's in a 175 with an Ultegra R8000 series pedal. I may sell this Dura Ace um, piece and get an Ultegra 6000 crank that fits the absolute black chain rings only because it's my only bit of Dura Ace stuff left. I have yet to decide. Okay, the powerhouse of the uh, whole operation, it's the BTDM110 DR2 battery. Yep, still going strong. Fantastic. We'll be reusing that one. Uh, we have the Ultegra. I'm sure these are the R8000 series di2 hydraulic shifters they are still cool you can see we've still got the hydraulic cable which i cut off in there so we'll be reusing those because those are cool the elite chrono cx bottle cages we'll be reusing those these are actually really good i, I like them but the one tip i've got is if you own these uh, once you've taken a sip of the water make sure you blow air back into the water bottle because otherwise the bottle rattles here and every time you go over a bump it it sounds like your bike's about to fall apart and um, that's a tip for those okay now we move on to the brake calipers which um are the r8070 flat mount this is the rear um it came up really nicely however the bolt 
are suffering from uh, Guernsey salt. A little bit of corrosion there. I'm going to chuck them in the Sonic Cleaner, see how they come up. But it's not good news for the front one. The front one's corroded. Here yeah, it's corroding, the bolt's corroding. The Guernsey salty air has uh, got to this one, so I shall be getting a new front caliper. Okay, so we're going to move on to the new parts. Um, we have uh, compression plugs, uh, one carbon one and one alloy one in various lengths. Okay, we've also got a new 11 speed uh, R8000 Ultegra. This is an 1132 uh, for my new rear wheel, which you will see it's, at the moment it's being spoked. Uh, brake hose hydraulic. Um, new one of these for the back and one for the front. Uh, Continental GP5000 uh, tyres in 25C folding. Two of those. Ultegra rear uh, derailleur DI2. It is the R8050. And a front one to match. GorillaBrakes.com. Uh, two sets of ceramic uh, pads for the calipers. We've got some Lifeline valve extenders. We've got long ones and medium ones. These are 60 mil and 40 mil. We've also got two packs of valve guard um, stickers to stop the valves rattling. We've got some Jaguar internal housing damper to stop the rattles. I'm probably gonna put, hopefully, my DI2 and my hydraulic cables through that. We've got one hydraulic cable already threaded into the damper. That was a bit of a chore, I can tell you, because the damper is just about the same size as the hydraulic line. So it's a bit of a pain feeding it through, but we got there in the end. I think they're five gram each, lead weights for balancing the wheel. Something I picked up from Buzz Cycles. We've got Vittoria Latex Inner Tube Road which I may or may not use. I'm gonna do a test to see how flat they go. And last but not least, the Hambini bottom bracket. And all the tools to go with it, so I can put it in. So, as you can see on the floor, uh, that's a mass of stuff, but um, all the bits will add up to go on the bike, so. Uh, there's the box of old bits and there's all the new parts in various boxes I've been collecting for a while. So thanks for watching guys. If you like the channel, please subscribe, click the like button and uh, tell everyone about this exciting R9 project. It's going to be great and we'll see you on the next car house. Take care. Bye.